what you call inflation, baby. On them. Trying something different. Y'all see my last couple of videos. I've been recording on the iPhone. And you see I had a microphone right here, either right there. I have a microphone on. Where is it at? Where's my damn microphone? There it is. Let me show y'all my microphone. That's why you've been having better quality videos than normal. There it is. I got a little mic. Just clips on my shirt. I ain't recording with it right now. But if I show y'all how this thing work, there's the piece right here. I put this in the bottom of my the bottom of my iPhone and then it just connects. And that's how I record the video. That's how I get the sound. That's why my sound has been better. Since I took my little break from YouTube, I've been upgrading my equipment. See if I can take this thing to the next level. And right now, I'm recording on my GoPro. Let me show y'all this thing. There's the GoPro. It's on the selfie stick. So the audio is a little bit better when I use the iPhone. But anyway, I'm up here in Williamsburg right now. Do y'all know how long I've been sitting waiting to get unloaded? Let me check. 53 minutes plus 30. Not sure how much that is. 53 plus 30, what's that, like an hour and 20 minutes that I've been sitting here? This place is slow, man. But it's all good. It's all good. Because I just got a load. That's what made me cut it on. Because guess what? Guess where I'm going? Just take a guess. I told y'all yesterday, I go to the same places over and over. And yesterday when I was naming all the places that I probably would go get a reload at, I didn't name this one place. I named I named Petersburg, Prince George, and Emporia. Where else did I name? Petersburg, Emporia, Prince George. Yeah, I named those three places, but I didn't name Cofield because I didn't think I was get a, a reload out of Cofield. But guess what? I'm reloading in Cofield. I don't even know how far it is from here. Let's do some quick, quick calculations. My GPS is back there in the back. Cause I took it out the window. I always take it out the window when I'm getting it loaded so it don't get hot. Cofield, North Carolina. Let's see. 90 miles, an hour, 33 minute dead head. That ain't too bad. Let me see what, which way it's gonna take me. Oh, so I'm gonna go get on get back on 64 get on 664 ride that to 58 and 13 right back to cofield my one of my favorite places but guess but guess where the load is going at once i pick it up from cofield just guess just guess where it's going the place that i haven't been having any luck with the past couple weeks is going back to charlotte so we can only assume my reload out of Charlotte will probably be going to Madison. So today's Tuesday. So I go to I drop this load tomorrow on Wednesday. So if I do get a reload to Madison, that'll be going to Madison on Thursday. So I can do that. I can do Madison on a Thursday. That's all right. But I still don't like going to Madison, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's if I go to Madison. Maybe I'll get some rebar or something out of Jadal in Charlotte. But right now, this is where I'm at right now. I've been waiting on this guy. This was like the third truck when I got here. He was the third truck. And I was the fourth one. And it's, as you can see, there's nobody behind me. TMC driver, the money crew. So here I am. So he got like two more pieces up there. So as soon as he's done, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna right back to damn Cofield. My favorite place, Cofield. <laughs>
let me tell y'all something. For those of y'all that aspire to be YouTube creators, let me tell you something. Content, you don't gotta fight to get content. Content is just gonna come. It just if you just pretty much just vlog your day, it's gonna come. You don't gotta fight for content. I just show you my real life. So let me show you this. This is my status. I'm off duty. If you look at it, it says an hour, three minutes off duty. But if you go to certify, I got some messages popping up. That's the same load I already got. It's just automatic. They just come through. Need to hurry up so I can show y'all for this thing reset. Okay, look at my status. One more time. An hour, four minutes off duty. Summary. 14 hours on duty. I got seven hours, 12 minutes on my 14 hour clock. On my 11 hour drive clock, I got 649. Now see that 712 is about to catch up with that 649. So once it catches up, it's gonna start taking my drive clock away. Now look, I just got unloaded. I just got unloaded at 1240. Let's go back to certify. We're gonna see when my off duty time started. Right there, off duty. It started at 949, but that's central time. So we gotta go up an hour. So really, it started at 1049. Right now it is 1247. So check this out. I've been unloaded about 10 minutes. So I could just I could have just hit the road and started driving to pick this load up. But you gotta take it easy. Because like I said, that 712 is gonna catch now it's on 711. It's gonna catch that 649. But if I sit here and wait one more minute, the 1249. Let's go back to status. See this thing says wheel pair SB. That's a sleeper berth. So with this new ELD update, if you're off duty for two hours, it's gonna take this clock up. The 711, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two hours back on that. So now we just gotta sit here and wait. Come on, Apple Watch, light up. 1248. But it's a little bit off. So really, let's see. Really, it's gonna be. 1249 and 48 seconds so if we sit here and wait you're gonna see this summary it's gonna shoot back up we just got to be patient for a little while it's 1249 now it's 1249 almost there let's watch it it's on 17 as soon as it hits that 48 seconds so that 49 seconds that 17 is gonna shoot up. We're gonna be we're gonna be patient. We're gonna wait for it. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Come on, come on. We almost there. We almost there. Be patient. Be patient. Turn your volume down. Shh. Get quiet. Get quiet. Maybe if we be quiet, maybe it'll speed up. Sometimes I lose patience, but I stay with it. Y'all with me? Y'all still there? Hey, hey, when that clock jump, I want y'all to share this video as soon as that clock jump up. As soon as it jump up. As soon as it jumps. Come on. Woo! There it go. <laughs> you see how it jumped to 909? Woo! There it go. They don't teach y'all this stuff in trucking school. They don't teach that. Now we got time to go sit and wait at Cofield to get this load. Let's go. Hey, I want to clarify something on that, uh, on that little clip where I just showed y'all how my how my clock was how my clock was uh resetting before somebody catches it I want to go ahead and clarify it so you gotta be off duty for two hours for it to happen but when I showed y'all my clock it said an hour and three minutes so it didn't say two hours let me explain that real quick remember when I went to certify I went to certify to see what time my my off my off-duty break started. 
that was because this place right here you got to hold back a little bit make sure ain't nobody coming before you come to the stop sign because a lot of trucks come through here you got to hold back hey let me call you back you hear me i'm gonna call you back Got to be careful coming through here. Got to take the whole lane up. Last week when I was here, I learned a lot of shortcuts. I learned a lot of shortcuts following them other trucks when I was doing that dedicated. Hey, but anyway, you got to be off duty for two hours for your clock to for the, your clock to pause and get your time back. But what happened was when I first got to the place, I was on duty. I was on duty for. 53 minutes unloading. I was on duty. So when I realized that I was going to be there for two hours, I went back and edited my clock. And I changed my on duty time to off duty time. So that's why when I showed you my clock said off duty, it's only said an hour and three minutes. But but the, the 53 minutes of on duty that I edited was off duty. So you had to add that to the hour and three minutes or whatever. That's why I didn't say that. Hey, now that's what I tell y'all now. Hey, if your company requires y'all to log on duty time, unloading, loading, whatever, if y'all if they require you to do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. But in my case, I went back and I edited that on duty time, the off duty time. When I when I was on duty, that's when I pulled the tarp off, rolled up the straps, got the load ready. But when I realized that there was two more trucks in front of me and it was going to take a while for me to get unloaded I was like you know what I'm going to catch a two hour break while I'm sitting here so boom I changed it hey now if your company don't hey so hey I want y'all to tell me in the comments A would y'all have edited the time or B would you have just took the hit and not got your two hour break what would y'all have done A edited the clock B roll with it and just didn't take a two hour pause and lost 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 your drive time picking up your next load when you go pick your next load up you're going to sit in line and wait to get loaded so all that sitting and waiting your drive time would have been gone and then you would have had to end up taking a two hour break quicker let me give y'all an example let's say it's a friday you got three hours of drive time on your clock let's let's make let's, let's do it like this let's say let's say it's friday you an hour from let's say you an hour from home on a Friday. You got an hour on your clock. You got an hour of drive time. But let's say you got two hours on your 14. Let's say you sit at the shipper for three hours. You lose all your drive time. And boom, you can't go home even though you're an hour away. But let's say it only takes you an hour and a half to get loaded. But all your drive time is gone because you're 14 and took your drive time away. But all you gotta do is sit there for two hours. So what you do, you, when you get loaded, pull to the side, wait 30 minutes, boom. Your clock pause, you got your time back. That's what that is for. You ain't gotta take a whole 10 hour break. You take two hours, get some time back. Later on in the day, if you want to, you could take eight hours. Either way, it's a 10 hour break. But that's just a little, hey, that's something, they don't, like I said, man, they don't teach y'all that in trucking school. They don't teach that. Hey, you got to learn that from somebody. Hey, maybe your company might teach it. Maybe you might learn it from YouTube. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of y'all have looked up how to do an 8 2 split. I'm pretty sure some of y'all have looked that up. That's basically what I did 8 2 split. The only difference is I'm not going to take 8 hours when I stop tonight. I'm going to take a whole 10. I, I never do eight two. I might do two, but I never do eight. I just do that just to get me some drive time back. And then when I shut down, ten hours. Now maybe the day will come that I will do an eight two split, but it ain't today. Y'all see where I'm at, don't you? This is River Road. River Road, baby. I got four miles till I get the. I'm going to TSH today. Tennessee Steel Haulers.
T-S-H. They got some little slogan in the, in the office. I forgot what it says. Sustain. I know the S is sustainability. T-S-H. S, sustainability. What's the H? It might be honesty. Hey, we'll see. We'll see when I get there. I'll take a picture of it. Y'all see how narrow this road is? Imagine, imagine when it's an oversized load coming at you. Cars ain't too bad. When you get an oversized load, you definitely gotta slow down and slide over a little bit. My buddy Justin Terrell talk about, oh, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Yeah, it ain't that bad. This, this other guy in the flatbed group, he was like, never been an issue for me. I told him, I said it's never an issue until until something happens. That's how it is with anything. Just because it's not an issue at the moment doesn't mean it's not an issue. It's never an issue until something happens. If something happens, boom, then it's an issue. Ain't nobody coming right now, so y'all really can't tell. You really can't tell. You don't see nothing. But when you got an oversized load coming down with them steel plates, you gotta slow down and move over a little bit. Almost there. I wonder how many trucks is up there when I get there. Let's take a guess before I get there. One truck, five trucks, ten trucks. Shit, you never know, man. You never know till you get past this tree line. Look at this. Look at this car swerving over. All right, buddy, stay on your side. This is my side. Yeah, stay on your side, buddy. What y'all what y'all think before I get there? One truck or five trucks? Or maybe ten trucks? I'ma say, I'ma say, I'ma say five. Five trucks. Five trucks. We didn't see not one oversized, did we? I ain't we didn't see not one oversized truck. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. I see two right there at the driveway. <laughs> oh man. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Oh man. That ain't looking good. Man, we got one, two, three, four, five. Five as I can see right now. I can't even I can't even park behind these trucks. Oh man. Make sure I get my trailer off the road. Uh oh. It ain't looking good. I'm slacking. I need some coffee. Hey, look at all these trucks. I just got some good news. <laughs> My load is at the boy yard. Sayonara. Sayonara, buddies. We're going to board.
two, three. Big difference on the boy yard compared to the TSA yard.
I always twist my straps. Always twist them. But they will come loose. They will come loose in the wind. I know I come to Cofield a lot. Wear my tennis shoes today. I ain't wear the boots. If it would have been raining. If it would have been raining, I would have put the boots on. Let's see how long I've been here. 46 minutes. I got six hours, 18 minutes. On my 14, I got four hours, 57 minutes on my drive clock. So if I didn't do that eight two split earlier, that 47 minutes that I've been here, it would've came off of my, uh, it would've took, that would've been 47 less minutes I had to drive if I didn't do that eight two split. All right. You gotta do what you gotta do, gang. Hey, you can edit logs. Ain't nothing illegal about that. Sometimes you leave yourself on duty by accident and then you you have to edit them. Y'all ain't never took a 10 hour, y'all ain't never did a 10 hour post trip. You ain't never woke up in the morning and looked at your clock has been in the negative. And you be like, damn, I thought I was off duty. Then you look at it, you was on duty post trip the whole night. Ain't nothing wrong with editing clocks. Now, if your if your company wants you to show unload load time, hey, hey, I'm not. Hey, do what you gotta do. Hey, my company wants me to show it too. Hey, but I made a mistake because I actually didn't mean to log 53 minutes of on duty time. But like I said, I thought I was gonna move. A, I thought it was gonna move a lot quicker than it did, but it didn't. Usually, unloading sheetrock ain't nothing like 30 minutes. Big snow, flatbed game. I'm out, man. We gotta take this thing to Charlotte. Till next time.